I'm Deepak Raval from Cambridge Consultants. I'm a commercial director there working in the wireless group. Over the last few years, we've, been start, we've started to see uh, a lot of interesting trends happening in the smart building industry. I think the first one is realization uh, that intelligent use of technology, uh, getting that technology into a building management systems uh, in, a, in a way that's very low power, uh, very um, uh, not high cost, uh, could really change the way people use the building spaces. Uh, the, th the, the three main things that have happened which make uh, smart building systems uh, more attractive than they were perhaps a few years ago is uh, availability of low cost sensors to which you can add intelligence so you can make local decisions based on the sensor information uh, you see. The second area is the, um, uh, the wide uh, availability of very good, very low power wireless technology that gets rid of the need for cabling, a lot of the way this information can be sent to a back-end server. And the third one is basically aggregating this information to a building management control system uh, that can use the information as an API to make rule-based decisions on how a building could perform certain services and functions. The key thing here is for whether you're a product developer or you're a system integrator or you're a provider of building management solutions into the smart building space is of information exchange. If you can get that information exchange done uh, sensibly, securely and uh, effectively, that makes a huge difference. So if I was a lighting manufacturer and I had wanted to develop smart lighting based systems, for example, I may want to expose information relating to my lighting to the building management integrator. So a building management in integrator could take people's preferences, uh, occupancy levels, uh, access information to control the lighting system in a particular way. So it's all about uh, uh, making those systems as opposed to being closed systems into being open systems. So you want to be able to say, I can take input in from an access control a system that would allow me to control my lighting. I may, I may be able to exchange my information for uh, 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 heating based around learning algorithms. So I'm learning about how each room would heat up, how it would cool down, how its occupancy and its direction, and the fact that it may be exposed to different outside conditions could all impact the way this particular space needs to be configured and managed. So I guess my message to integrators, developer of products, and people providing technology technology into the solutions is make it easy for people to get information from your system and to pass you information that you can make the system more holistic and easy to integrate.